Hi, my name is Jean Bologna, and I'm a professor of dermatology at Yale University School of Medicine. Well, I went to Yale Medical School. I did my residency and fellowship there. I also trained in internal medicine there, and I never left. So it makes for an easy introduction. In a, with regard to dermatology, well, during my third year, I had to find a rotation that was fairly easy, and so I chose dermatology. But when I did it, I realized that I really enjoyed it because I always like things like highlights and finding the details in a picture, and so I found it was a natural fit for me. The key features in the book are there because in medical school and in internship, you learn about a host of medical diseases, but you only learn about 20 to 30 skin diseases, but there are over a thousand. And so especially when you're starting out, it can be so overwhelming. So many diseases and you know so little. So if you can master one or two key features per disease, you at least have some control over the situation. In addition, I think it's very, very important to have a framework. When I was in medical school, my favorite book was Harvey's Internal Medicine, and it was because it had algorithms. I'll give you an example. Thrombocytopenia, increased destruction, decreased production. And it was a nice way to think as limbs of a tree, because I think sometimes when you're overwhelmed, you just memorize the leaves, and you really don't have a logical tree-like approach to the differential diagnosis. What I wanted to accomplish with the textbook originally was a logical approach to dermatology. In a sense, the book provides the cake, the clinical experiences and your teachers in your institution add the icing. Some other textbooks really feel like they have to give you the whole cake with icing. And therefore, the text becomes so huge that it's almost impossible to get through the book on a yearly or every other year basis. So the hope with my book is that you can get through the whole book in a year. And so that's one important thing. On the second edition, we worked a lot on tables. We wanted to pull text out of the table so that a person in practice who has literally five seconds to get into the book, be reminded of some rarer diseases, reminded of the differential diagnosis, can get in and get out very quickly. And so we worked a lot on tables. For this third one, I've worked very hard on increasing the number of schematics, but I've also increased clinical pathologic correlation. So we have the clinical and the pathologic, the histology and the clinical side by side, so that people get an idea of why something looks the way it does and what it's gonna look like on biopsy. And I have to thank Lorenzo Cironi because he gave us many of the histology uh, photomicrographs, which uh, have added a lot to the book. In addition, there's almost 1,500 new figures in the book.